Robert Pershing Wadlow, a man with a height of 8 feet 11.1 inches. Is his towering height due to drinking giraffe milk? Or perhaps he was exposed to radiation like the Hulk? Let's find out. Robert Pershing Wadlow is the world's most famous tallest person by far. People call him the Alton Giant after his hometown of Alton, Illinois. Since 1937, Wadlow has been breaking records as the tallest person. He stood 8 feet 11 inches tall and weighed 490 pounds. Robert's incredible body was due to hyperplasia of his pituitary gland, a condition that causes high levels of growth hormone in Robert's body. He also never received any medication to stop his growth. Robert was the eldest child of Addie and Harold Wadlow, and he had four younger siblings. By the age of eight, he had overtaken his father's height of 5 feet 11 inches or 180 centimeters. While other children his age were still carried by their parents, Robert was able to lift his father up the stairs. One of the things that sets him apart from the average person is his shoe size. At the age of 20, he signed a contract with the International Shoe Company. Robert and his father traveled more than 300,000 miles, visiting more than 800 cities and 41 states to tour with the shoe company that provided him with custom shoes. In order for Robert to pay for the ever-increasing costs of his ever-increasing body, such as the price of his shoes, which when adjusted for inflation is currently around $2,000, being tall is not always fun. In fact, Wadlow's height is what causes him problems because his legs become brittle over time, because they have to support his large body. This made it difficult for her to walk and forced her to wear ankle braces to support her considerable stature. When he was alive, Wadlow was the most popular American celebrity of his time. He rose to fame during a world tour in 1936 as part of the Ringling Brothers Circus, and a promotional tour of Interco in 1938. On July 4, 1940, Robert's condition worsened after attending the Andrew Fever National Forest Festival. The iron leg brace on his leg broke, causing severe lacerations and infecting his leg. Doctors treated him with blood transfusions and emergency surgery, but because Robert refused to go to the hospital, his condition continued to deteriorate and he finally passed away on July 15, 1940, in his sleep, at the age of 22. An estimated 30,000 people were attending Wadlow's funeral on July 19, 1940. He was put into a coffin weighing half a ton, requiring 12 men to transport the coffin. After Robert's death, his family destroyed most of his belongings because they did not want them to be collected and displayed as freak or giant memorabilia. In addition, Robert's grave was covered with concrete to deter anyone from trying to exhume his remains. In 1985, a similarly sized bronze statue of Robert Wadlow made by Ned Giberson was displayed at the University of Edwardsville in Southern Illinois in the School of Dental Hygiene, so that the Alton Giant can be remembered forever. Besides that, he also appeared in a movie in the form of a wax figure at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. To this day, Robert Wadlow still holds the record for the tallest man to have ever lived, and his record has yet to be beaten. Beyond his record, he will be remembered as a gentle man who was full of spirit and brought joy to those around him. Now let's delve deeper into the gigantism that afflicted Robert Wadlow. Why is an excessively tall body considered an ailment rather than an advantage? Gigantism can be observed in its rapid and uncontrolled growth due to an overproduction of growth hormones, usually caused by benign tumors on the pituitary gland. This condition is classified as a rare disease, with a prevalence of approximately one case per 20 million people, making many cases only recognized when the affected individuals are already adults. However, gigantism typically occurs in children before puberty, exhibiting symptoms such as easily becoming tired, significantly above average height, enlarged head, larger than average hand size, difficulty sleeping, and frequent headaches. With an unusually large body size, internal organs work extra, giving rise to various health complications such as heart issues, respiratory problems, bone issues, nervous system complications, and diabetes. 
gigantism can be halted by removing tumors on the pituitary gland through a surgical process. Alternatively, it can be managed by taking specific medications that control the production of growth hormones in the brain. If not addressed promptly, this condition can be dangerous, and individuals with gigantism rarely live long lives. For instance, Robert Wadlow could only survive until the age of 22. Another example is John Rogan, the second tallest American, who passed away at the age of 37 due to heart complications. However, not everyone with a tall stature suffers from gigantism. Some cases are purely genetic, such as Yao Ming, a professional basketball player with tall stature inherited from both of his parents. You might be wondering now, is there a limit to human height? The answer is yes. The maximum height of a human is constrained by the basic laws of physics, known as the square cube law. In theory, as the body grows taller, it not only extends upwards but also widens or broadens. Consequently, the body becomes heavier. Here's where a new problem arises. The bones are no longer able to support the enlarged body. The giant now needs assistance to stand, such as a cane. According to research, if our body exceeds 8 feet 10 inches in height, daily activities become challenging. Muscles have to work extra hard to move the body, resulting in the heart struggling to pump blood efficiently throughout the entire body. In conclusion, being excessively tall is not cool. Instead, it is hazardous and cumbersome. Many everyday activities seem peculiar when performed by someone with an overly tall stature. So does this mean that individuals with smaller stature are healthier and live longer? Thank you to those of you who have watched this video until the end. Write your corrections in the comments column if there is something wrong or you want to add other facts. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you.